Hey guys, this is Xavier with Gotta Be Mobile. I've got the iPhone 4S here. Actually, I have three of them. I've got one from each network. Uh, one here on the right from Sprint. The one in the middle is from Verizon. And the one on the left is from at and I'm gonna go ahead and hit run the speed test on net application to show you how fast these iPhones are, at least in this location, which is in a Starbucks in San Francisco. First, we're gonna take on the Sprint speed test. Now keep in mind, your results will vary uh, even from the same location, but this is just to give some sort of idea of what you might experience if you live here in the middle of San Francisco. We get a pretty respectable uh, one and a half or so megabit per second from Sprint, it looks like. Let's see here. 1.23 down. And 0.91 up. Uh, let's try out the Verizon iPhone for us. And it looks like pretty similar to the Sprint iPhone 4S at 1.18. The Sprint version was 1.23 on the download side of things. And on the upload side of things, the Verizon phone iPhone here is much, much slower than the Sprint. And finally, we have the AT&T version here. And that looks like it's about 60% faster than the other two carriers, which are uh, in the low ones. The AT&T phone here is in the high ones. And the upload speed comes in at 1.13. And compare that to the Sprint iPhone 4S and the Verizon phone 4S. The AT&T phone is faster here at this location. We're going to run these tests one more time just to see what happens. And let's start again with the Sprint iPhone for us. Bring in the Verizon iPhone for us. It looks like the Verizon iPhone for us is a bit faster this time. So that download speed is almost as fast as the AT&T iPhone 4S on the first run, but it's much, much slower on the upload side. And let's try the AT&T one again. There we go with the AT&T, it's at 3.87 megabits per second. It just blew away the competition. 
and the upload speed is still much, much faster than the other two. Or at least faster than this Verizon iPhone 4S. It's about the same as a Sprint iPhone 4S. And we'll give everybody one more shot here. Here we go on Sprint again. Download is under one megabit per second. Upload is under one. Let's go ahead and try the Verizon phone. We're looking at the mid or low twos here. And in at least this location, we're still struggling to get anywhere close to one megabit per second up on the Verizon iPhone 4S, which is disappointing. 0.41 on the upload side of things. And so far, the iPhone 4S has been clearing away the fastest iPhone 4S here at this location. Let's go ahead and try it out one more time. That's another score of above 3 megabits per second on the download side. And just over 1 on the upload side. So it's a pretty safe bet to say that if you live in this location, which is in the, off of Portola in San Francisco, and if you care about 3G speeds, you're, wanting to go, well, you're going to want to go with the AT&T iPhone, uh, but your results will vary. I mean, these are all great phones, um, but the network does matter, of course, but the, you're going to see different results depending on where you live and where you work, and my best advice is to try out different iPhone 4S models if you can in a location where you live and or work. This is Xavier with Gotta Be Mobile, and this is the iPhone 4S speed test.